for those friendships prosper. And and the story of you and, and Bonnie is one of the favourite ones that I've told a few different times where back at our um, our first lockdown, which was nearing two years ago, which is crazy to think, but we yeah. we weren't able, the, the rules at the time, we couldn't um, run sessions and we couldn't run outdoor stuff or, or anything. So one sort of thing we did suggest and recommend was for people to, to go walking or go you know, for a run or bike ride or whatever with, with someone else, whether it be like a partner, you know, one of their children, a friend, or alternatively someone in the in the gym. And I, I can't remember if I was talking to you or I was talking to Mon, and I remember whoever it was I was speaking to was sort of struggling a bit to sort of get moving. And I said, oh, listen, like, you know, we've got a few of the other ladies who are in the same boat, and, you know, I, I think it might have been Mon I was talking to. And I said, oh, you know, Brooke, I know she's trying to keep active as well. Would you mind if I passed like a number to you and then you guys could maybe plan to meet up? And you both agreed and I, you know, I sent, sent through your numbers and then all of a sudden I'm getting selfies from you guys going walking up and down the Fernley track and, and doing all sorts of activity when, when we couldn't really do anything else. And, and ever since, you know, you guys have been really, really close friends. And, and I know like even when Mon was going through a bit of a tough time, you helped to secure a new place and, and kind of it definitely goes outside of the walls of the gym and in terms of exercise, it just becomes you know, really, really good friendship. But I always like telling that story because it can be something so simple where you, you yeah. know, reach out and, and try and connect and then all of a sudden you, you've got a new mate who you, you know, doing a bit of working out with. And, and I know even now, like you guys go for swims and things sometimes at the bars mm-hmm. and yeah. you know, her, her work schedule has changed a bit, but you're still, you know, very much in touch, which, which I find to be really cool. And for someone... Mm-hmm like yourself who wasn't looking for friends you, you could have pretty, you could have yeah, it's a bonus. i wouldn't have uh wouldn't have picked that in a thousand years you, you probably got the most friends in here you know the more, more people than i do but it's um no it's it kind of all i don't think too many people actually would join i guess a gym like ours to make friends but it's definitely a product of of what happens especially when you've been coming for two years and you've probably done hundreds of sessions with Joe and, and Mon and, and guys so you just see each other a lot and, and you become friendly. Mm. Um,